Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create uh, some uh, top headers uh, in uh, Figma using variants. Now, this is part of a series of videos in which we're creating an entire design system from scratch, but feel free to join in, uh, in uh, just this video and uh, we're going to essentially start from scratch when it comes to these headers. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to basically leverage this uh, frame which we previously created, which is 1440 pixels of width, which happens to be a good uh, dimension in order to replicate uh, maybe like a web app or a dashboard. And uh, what we're gonna do here is we're essentially going to create uh, a uh, top header, which is going to work well within this uh, uh, side menu. So the very first thing that we're gonna do in this case is we're going to change the color to white. We're going to add a little bit of a drop down, so, or a drop shadow actually, <laughs> since uh, we're going to want to have a, almost a visual, a visual differentiation between uh, this uh, foreground and uh, the background. Another thing that we can consider doing is actually adding a little bit of a uh, background color to the mix so that uh, it's going to look uh, even more visually uh, differentiated and uh, let's uh, just tweak uh, this uh, a moment so let's put the Y um, a little bit on the top and uh, we're going to essentially start adding some of the elements uh, right uh, here so the very first element which we're going to add is uh, the top uh, menu so in order to do that we're going to leverage nuclear icons so let's go ahead uh, over here let's write uh, hamburger and uh, since we're going to figure out a hamburger or a hamburger icon right here and uh, as you can see this uh, is already starting to take place so let's do that let's change the stroke color to maybe something around the, um, maybe just making it lighter. So something like this could work well. Now, in this specific instance, uh, I would ideally want uh, the, um, the two to line up. So one thing that uh, we can do is, uh, for example, just bring this guy a little bit uh, on the bottom and uh, like tweak uh, this uh, so that it matches the uh, the horizontal line so something like this uh, could work uh, um, very very easily all right so this uh, is uh, something that uh, can work uh, well now what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to bring uh, uh, the circle right on on the right and uh, we're going to go under plugins, content reel, and uh, what uh, we're going to do is we're going to add a avatar. And uh, there we go. Now let's add some text. So first one right here, I'm going to select this, bring uh, this text layer on the right just going to write a name let's go and duplicate this and we're going to <coughs> essentially bring this uh, make it maybe just one point smaller and uh, here we go. All right, so far so good. Let's make this one darker. Or actually, this is this one here. And the other thing that we want to leverage is to have a arrow icon. So let's uh, find it right here. Uh, let's use a cliff and we're going to use this one 
All right, so far so good. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's bring it here. Maybe just it just one touch bigger. And let's change the color of this guy. Something like that. And actually, let's go back and let's use the same color as we previously did. And there we go. We have uh, our very first header, very minimal, I know, but we're going to create uh, different uh, variations of this header in just a moment. So the reason why we created it uh, in the context of uh, a artboard with uh, a real uh, width is simply because we're going to select all of this, going to turn it into a component, going to rename it uh, into header. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, a to click on variant. And as you can see, we created our very first variant. Now, problem is <laughs> all of these variants are inside this, uh, um, this frame. So we definitely don't want that. We want to add all of the different variants uh, outside of it. And now we're going to create uh, the different uh, variation. So here is the very first uh, header menu. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have another menu which is going to be different in style so we're going to have the, the top level menu uh, right here and uh, let's just make it one point bigger <clears throat> and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add the different uh, tabs so overview we're going to just add a few more over here second one is going to be analytics Third one is going to be um, email list, then settings, and uh, profile. I'm going to change this one to campaigns. And here we go. All right, so far so good. Now we're going to have uh, one of these uh, highlighted. It's going to be the, the overview. I'm going to use this primary color right here and we're going to change the color of these uh, other ones to this uh, lighter gray. All right, so far, so good. And we're pretty much uh, set with the second uh, menu. Now let's go ahead and let's create another variation of this menu. And uh, for this variation, we're simply going to group all of this and uh, just center it. So there you go. All right. And um, another thing that we're going to do in this case is uh, um, probably we're going to do it in the other one now let's let's do it right away and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start adding some uh, icons to these uh, to these elements so let's go under the assets panel and uh, under icons let's see what we can find for dashboard for example and uh, let's uh, okay couldn't really find anything that uh, sparked my attention. Um, actually, you know what? what we're gonna do here is uh, we're essentially going to just select these and uh, go under the icons and uh, figure it out this way. So this is a, another way that you can uh, tackle this. Uh, and uh, I already know that we have email list, so this icon can work well. Then uh, what else do we need? An overview icon, this one, I think could be a good overview icon. Then we have campaigns, and uh, for campaigns, uh, we're going to have, uh, we're going to use, uh, actually, this one we already used, so it's going to be 
the turn of this one then we need a settings icon now finding the settings might take a while so in this specific instance it's going to be easier to go under assets and then settings boom I already find the um, the icon which I want the next one is going to be user and again we can find the icon which we want very easily all right so I'm just going to cancel this after copying it of course going back to UI components copying these and I want to figure out uh, the overall um, size ideal size of these icons I'm going to center this uh, and uh, I'm going to actually bring it here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, these uh, individually and uh, I'm going to change the color to this one right here maybe the darker one now let's go with the lighter version and I'm going to essentially um, add them so that they are well aligned again let's find out the distance by using uh, alt option and command so this is 6.6 oops okay so this is just part uh, of uh, the process want to figure out like the easiest way to add these icons to the different uh, elements so all right and uh, we're pretty much set now another thing that we're going to do is we're going to ungroup this I'm going to simply create a different groups for these uh, individual text layers and uh, icons I'm going to go over here group them group them and group them then I'm going to select all of the all of these so we're going to use the distribute horizontal spacing and as you can see we can create uh, this uh, menu really easily all right so okay for some <laughs> for whatever reason this thing is not uh, uh, really catching up not a big deal um, what we can do is simply go over here and uh, bring it up all right so pretty much set another thing that we're gonna change uh, in this instance is uh, we're going to add a little bit more width over here and uh, this guy going to make it blue and uh, we're pretty much uh, good to go all right so far <coughs> so good now another version that we're going to create uh, is uh, one with uh, the logo so let's say that uh, for example we're going to go with uh, a variation of uh, the side menu without the logo um, we can easily just swap it and put it here so all right and we're going to use uh, the primary blue of our design system we're just going to bring this uh, and make it aligned with uh, the other ones all right so far so good now another thing that uh, we might want to change is uh, having the hamburger menu on uh, the right instead of uh, having uh, these elements so let's go ahead let's just bring it all the way to the right <clears throat> just like that and uh, here we go pretty much set another thing we're gonna do in this case is we're going to add uh, another variation of this uh, with uh, the 
with this menu without icons we're going to basically bring it uh, to the center of this menu right here we're going to also have a variation where the primary color is uh, lighter so maybe something around uh, these lines could work maybe let's try something a little bit more towards the blue tint and uh, yeah here we go so we have our headers we have five uh, variants of these headers oops and uh, yeah we're pretty much uh, set in those regards now as you can see uh, the sky is not containing the icons so we need to bring them right here just that stuff that happens from time to time you basically uh, don't really have like the uh, like maybe some uh, some layers inside of uh, the document so you simply have to like adjust it on the go but it's not really like a, a, a big deal um, okay so let's uh, move this uh, towards the center and a little bit uh, on the top let's increase the height just so we have just so that we can have a little bit of more padding and uh, now we're going to create a different uh, properties for these so property one is going to be type and uh, for this uh, i could uh, add uh, like descriptive uh, names uh, so such as like hamburger plus uh, i don't know profile menu um simple menu and then uh, you know profile menu st stuff like that or you know whatever really um fits your desires but uh, what uh, i'm gonna do in this case to simplify it uh, uh, compared to what we did in uh, the previous ones which is using a little bit more of the scripting names is i'm simply going to keep it to one two and three so just to make it easier simply because i'm i'm going to have a look at these headers uh here prior to adding them and since we don't have like 100 uh, <laughs> headers it's not really a big deal so I think that this is going to be the easiest way to tackle it in uh, this specific case. All right, so we have uh, our headers that uh, we're proud <laughs> to add to this design system. And now let's add this, this label right here. And uh, if you go back on uh, our um, dashboard, let's go over here. We can drag and drop uh, the header right in and uh, I can select uh, the different type of headers which uh, we just uh, created. All right, so far so good. So hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, new video in this series. And I want to remind you that uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on uh, Instagram. And I also recently launched a course uh, uh, for free on how to get started in UI UX design. So if you're interested in that topic, feel free to check it out. And I'll see you in the next videos of this series.